Hello and welcome guys, Armageddon Videos here and today with a little presentation of a new plugin for Adobe Illustrator and first of all I want to apologize for the little break on oh yeah, regarding my upload schedule on YouTube because um, I just had exams for the university again and had to do so much work and learn programming a lot and learn music production again and yeah so much to do but that's enough for the introduction let's actually start with the tutorial right here so i've created those two logos right here today with my vacuum antique and maybe i'm going to make a tutorial about them or give them away i don't know yet we have to see that and yeah i used those two logos for my tutorial today and it's about the new plugin or yeah function of illustrator called export for screen or asset export that you can find under window asset export and let's hop right into the setting because it's very handy and adobe thanks to you guys they just helped me to increase my monthly income or yeah work less for getting the same because uh, usually i calculated the costs of exporting my logo into the price of the logo because it usually took up to 15 minutes to export it in all the different variations that client uh, clients wanted to have the logo because i've exported them as three different pngs and eps and pdf and i usually had to go yeah i needed to copy this whole thing here bring it into a new document then go to file save as and then save it as eps save it again as pdf save it again as png with uh, 72 dpi and then save it again with 300 dpi and so on and so forth it took so much time but with this little helper right here that adobe just brought uh, brought into the new illustrator cc 2015.3 their latest uh, version yeah, they just helped me immensely so let's go right into it we got this logo right here and right now it's a group but if i hit ungroup we got all the single shapes right here and we can drag those single shapes in here and uh, export them but if you want this whole logo to be exported just select everything hit command g to group it up or for windows control g and all you need to do now is drag this in here it's going to be labeled as asset one you can just simply click in here and call it I don't know, snake mascot, uh, PNG, or whatever you want to name it now. You can also just leave it like this and give it a suffix. And yeah, you get some settings right here for iOS and Android because iOS is, yeah, it has a specific resolution for retina displays. It's two times the normal resolution, as you can see right here. And yeah, there are some basic presets, but I'm going to show you my usual presets. I, usually I'm no, uh, going for the one times the normal scale, like this should be like full HD and the logo itself should be around 1000 by 800 or something like this. So I'm going to use this as my first format, then add scale, crank it up three times, same PNG again and crank it up six times. You can just write it in here yourself pretty basic and one more time I'm going to make a PDF and you don't have to write any scale in here because a PDF is a vector file so the size doesn't matter and yeah all you need to do now is hit export and you're ready to go just select a folder where you want to save it and you're good to go and here we have some more options that is the new export for screens um, dialog you can also find it here file export export for screens and here you got some more settings let's say um where do we have it yeah you you can export the whole artboard or the assets that you've just chosen right here if you drag it into the asset export and we got this little knob right here to kind of tweak our export functions if you want to uh, save it as an svg it's a vector file and you want to check if you're actually a programmer you will understand this you want to change up the um the styling of the CSS to inline style, you can do this and it's pretty awesome that the Adobe dev developers actually thought uh, this way because it's giving us a lot of, um, it's saving us a lot of time. And yeah, it's a bit more 
it has a bit more settings than the asset um, the asset export window and yeah that's basically it you can change the formats right here and export it you can also clear the selection to see what you want to export and it's super handy guys and i really wanted to show you this right here in case you didn't knew it or you didn't upgrade yet because you are scared of something that you're losing your plugins if you're upgrading make sure you're saving all your plugins guys because it's going to be deleted and i had to reinstall everything so yeah just make sure to remember that and also try out this new asset export it's awesome okay guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i see you in another tutorial and yeah, I've planned a lot, there's going to be a lot, and I hope the time that I have will make it possible to record those tutorials. And leave a suggestion for more tutorials. Comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Armageddon videos.